It's Seagate. This is my little one terabyte USB drive. How do they fit one, one terabyte into that thing? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Windows 10 Tech Preview. It's um, day five of running this operating system. And I've got to say, so far, mousy action, fantastic. Um, touch screen action, equally fantastic. Whatever I want to do is really good. Loving the start bar, loving everything about the Windows 10 um, experience thus far. Really haven't found any problems. I had one main and one minor one with the VPN thing not working. Um, but I just discovered there's a Windows 10 enterprise technical preview for us IT geeks. So I'm going to run the install and see what happens. So I'm running Windows Tech Preview first on my uh, secondary screen. Oh, it's a motorcycle website. Nothing to do with the sexy lady though, but we'll get rid of that. <laughs> Another Star Trek geek wallpaper. So this one, uh, I'm going to run an update to the um, Enterprise Tech Preview, and uh, then I'll record if there's any differences. Uh, of course, I'll record also if there's any problems with running the update. So here we are. It is 9, 10 a.m., which is just time for me to take a coffee break, so hopefully this shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. We shall see. Pause. Bing! Wah! restarting about five minutes later let's see what the boot up times like <clears throat> here we go Bing. one of the nice things I really like about the ThinkPad X1 Carbon super fast boot times and here we are into Windows so what's that one two three four maybe five seconds boot time <laughs> anyway let's see what happens Ugh, my keyboard is filthy, covered in bits of clag, skin, hair, breakfast, grease. Hard to do one handed. Medium roast. Extra bowl. One big cup of coffee, please. You finished? Yes, you are. Cup of coffee. Ooh. And in the time it took to make that cup of coffee, we've gone to 78%. Ooh. Ooh, 99% getting devices ready. I'm sort of feeling like it's been about 10 minutes because I've been pausing in between. Let's see. Okay, reboot. Oh, here we go again. I'm going to make you sit through this in real time. Just so you can feel the pain and nervous excitement and trepidation and a little bit of pucker that is uh, waiting to see if my laptop will just explode. I'll have to roll back to the backup that I took earlier, but hopefully not. While it's getting ready, there's lots of strange noises going on in the office. <clears throat> and if you hear them, no, they're not me, tummy rumbles. Uh, I didn't have a curry last night. I haven't eaten too much licorice. Uh, I didn't overextend on cider, which does give shit of poops, um, or red wine, which makes you feel a bit. Um, uh, it's just a filler. Come on, hurry up, Windows! I can't wait any longer. Even videoing the screen making it is so dirty. Look, oh, you don't see it in real life. When you just look at it and work out, it, it looks like a normal laptop, but that looks gross. Look, sneezy. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause and clean that screen because it's irritating me. Hmm, slight technical problem. All I've got is a paper cloth. But... La -la -la. I promise little uh, ThinkPad, this weekend I will give you a proper clean down with one of them little... Uh, cleany thing, wet wipe things, and uh, an antibacterial doofer. Ugh, just some dirt that comes off just from doing that. Uh, oh dear, that coffee is making me a bit belchy. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up.
completely unrelated, utterly, but this is the nipple uh, track point, as it's supposed to be called, and this is the touch pad, which has got all the two finger, three finger things, and this is the click thing for the nipple and the left and right click, and of course you've got a left and right click here, and uh, yes, the uh, all in all Lenovo X1 Carbon, super skinny, look how skinny that is, it's just like a little thing, um, awesome laptop, my favourite laptop for a long, long time. Surely this is the last one. There's probably about 10 minutes elapsed time now. Come on. Get on with it. Daddy is impatient. This is the reflection of me just going, oh, come on, hurry up. <coughs> Sorry about coughing. Coming off the back end of a bit of a, um early or late autumn cold. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Come on. No, those noises aren't me, honestly. Setting up a few more things, you bloody cheeky little bugger. Oh, well, on a plus side, at least these few more things seem to be going pretty quickly. It goes 40% and then suddenly, one, two, three, four, five, and then does like loads of percent. It was stuck on 6% and then raced to 40 and then stopped again. And now it's going slow because I pressed record. Oh, curse you. Yeah, see, look, it just went from 50 to 75 in about one second. Ready, go, ready, go. Surely this is the last reboot. Um, so, how do DJs do it when they just mutter and talk with filler? I don't know. It's probably why I'm a programmer. We don't have to do too much speaking. And when we do, people expect it not to make too much sense, which uh, most of the blather that I come out with doesn't make much too much sense. Mm, coffee. Can you see it? Even the coffee's a bit dirty. Oh, I'm just a bit gungy today. Mmm. Hot. Okay, ready. Let's... Oh, I was about to press pause, then it said 95%. This is going to be one of the most boring videos on YouTube. I've got a good idea. Let's watch an install of an operating system. Uh, it's all one continuous shot on my camera, a Samsung S5, uh, with me just pressing pause for the boring bits, which um, is not a kind of real time, real ish time, real ish. In. Watch this video in real ish time. Uh, getting, oh, here we go. So it's picked up my existing wireless networks, it's remembered the one that I'm connected to, which is good. Settings, do I want to use the express settings? Uh, why not? Next step, set up your account. What's my, what is my password on Microsoft? I think it's... Ha <laughs> ha, did I trick you by not showing you what the letters were? Maybe you could just cleverly listen to them all to figure out what the password is. Oh, bugger, I don't know what it is. Is it that and then that, that? Open the Microsoft account app, which I've got to do on the phone now. Let's try and multitask this while I'm recording. Mm, okay. Oh, that's depressing because it looks. Oh, I switched out to the Microsoft Authenticator app, hoping that it would uh, carry on recording, which would have been deadly boring for you, but it didn't, and it just. Uh, I think it stopped the video, which is a shame. Uh, it asked me to key in my. Um, Authenticator ID number, which I did, and then the screen went black like this. But it's up to something because my little um, hard drive light is flishy flashing away down there. So something is going on. I wonder what it might be. Oh, plus another good thing about this, this laptop that I really like is a fingerprint reader. So um, once I set Windows up, I install the Lenovo fingerprint software. So whenever I turn it on, it just swipes. And because I use LastPass for my um, central vault for uh, password storing that's also integrated with the fingerprint reader so not only do I have fingerprint scanning on my laptop to verify my identity uh, I use the same thing on this phone the Samsung S5 which has a fingerprint reader on the front as well so all in all I just never need to type in passwords apart from once in a blue moon which is a good thing well this is a very long reboot you're up to something perhaps I'll press pause rather than bore you
boom, boom. <clears throat> oh, something happened. Oh, we're back. You can get new apps from the store. Installing your apps. Oh, it's all changing colour in a rather saucy way. So, um, hmm. Let's keep our fingers crossed that I haven't just decimated my uh, primary working device for the day. Let's give another couple of minutes. I think we've exceeded 10 minutes, probably more up into the 15 minute territory by now. Whom? It just suddenly uh, blinked up, which is rather awesome. This is my desktop, yes, with my geeky Star Trek wallpaper. Uh, okay, Cisco Systems VPN client. I had this same problem. It's not really a problem. Basically, it goes through a reinstall of the VPN software and says, where have you installed me from? And comes up with these errors. This is what it did when I installed the regular version of Windows. And all I did was I uh, cancelled it and went and downloaded the latest version of the VPN client and ran a reinstall again. This error message is not something for you to worry about. It's uh, I haven't got an email client assigned to the, the click on email because I run several different email clients and I don't want one to auto launch when I click on stuff. Uh, nice little Windows shortcut, Windows X gives us the little shortcut menu. Let's go and have a look at control panel and see what we've got, shall we? Even remembers that I had this up last time. So what am I running now? What am I running? Uh, system. Uh, it doesn't look any different at all. Apart, uh, okay, so it just still says Windows Technical Preview, but this is the Enterprise Edition. Um, if I find any new stuff or that it's done anything that's particularly funkier than usual, I will uh, leave uh, a blog entry or a message on YouTube. But so far, everything looks good. Let's try and launch Chrome, Internet Explorer. Welcome to Technical Preview thing. I watched this the other day actually and it made me laugh, the, the Welcome to Tech Preview, because it has some dude who looks very Apple-ish with a funny haircut, but he works for Microsoft and uh, talks, but it's, it's quite good either way. And uh, yeah, here we are. I'm going to stop now. So everything looks good. Uh, it's 9.40. That took a long time to run the install. On my look. look at that man with his haircut. I might cut my hair like that. We'll see, that's some bloke. But... Hi, I'm Joe Belfiore with the Windows. Oh, Hello, Joe Belfiore. You're We're a bit of a man. I like you. you. Um, I'm going to try and figure out what's better about the Enterprise version. And uh, I'm going to stop waffling on about stuff now. I am going to boldly go where no, where actually where lots of people have been before. Mm.